Hey Threadheads, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying something I come up with called the Dirty Martini Nymph. And it's basically uh, based around the idea of the drink, a Dirty Martini. You can see with the olive bead with a red eye on there, that kind of represents the olive with the uh, pimento in the middle. I just got in my new shipment of Firehole Beads, and this is one of the first patterns that I've started to play around with. Hope you really like it, and I'm sure there's going to be more. These beads are tungsten, and they're got a nice matte finish on them, and they're fun to just kind of play around with. These ones are going to be going into my box. I've been playing around with a number of variations, and this is the one that I thought I would share with you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. We'll get you entered into the next draw for some stickers and some of the flies that I tie. It's going to be really soon, so make sure to get your comments down below. Let's have a look at the material list and get started. Okay, let's get a fresh hook in the vise here. So for hooks today, I'm going to be using a fire hole 66 or 633, and we're going to be tying on a size 12. And for the bead, I've got an olive 4 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter on this size 12. And for thread, we're going to be using a an olive 70 denier. Um, in the flat UTC. So we'll just go ahead and just tie it on in behind the bead and we'll put a just a flat base line of thread. We're going to take a bit of a partridge, Hungarian partridge. I'm just going to strip the fluff off one of the feathers near the rump. I'm just going to take a few of the fibers, some of the nice darker colored ones with some nice barring on them, and we're going to measure those out about the length of the shank on there we'll tie that in at the tail I want to try and kind of keep that tail material on top of the hook shank let it flare out a little bit at the at the uh, bend of the hook and we'll just wrap down the loose ends just to clean those up a little bit for ribbing on this fly we're going to be using some ultra wire I'm going to be using silver, and for the size 12, I'm going to be using the brassy size of wire. That's uh, about the middle size. We'll tie that in just behind the bead, and we'll make sure we lash that down along the side of the shank. Add a few extra wraps in there just to make sure it's secure. And we'll place that in our material clip. So for dubbing, the body of this. We're going to be using some Hair's Ear Plus dubbing and we're going to be using the gold color. It's a nice um, really lightish olive kind of brownish color and just to get started we've got way too much dubbing here but we're just going to start by twisting a little bit onto the thread and we just want to make sure we twist in one direction so that all gets wrapped tightly. I like to start around the uh, front just to kind of thicken that up first and then we're going to create a bit of a taper towards the tail so you want to make sure your dubbing noodle's not too too uh, lumpy so when you got a nice thin part you can take that down to the tail and kind of get that tapered the way that you like it just going to need a little bit more here And as always, just make sure that when you're twisting your dubbing on, you twist it all the same direction. I don't use any wax here. And we'll go ahead and finish that up. See, we got a nice gentle taper. Now we're going to take our silver wire. We're going to wrap that up the hook shank. We're going to give this a little bit of segmentation. I'm going to give this about five wraps here. You just want to make sure that the wraps are somewhat even. I like to give an extra wrap around the hook shank. 
and then we tie it off and I like to make sure we go both in front and behind that wire just to make sure that it's locked in place and then give it a tug upwards before you twist it off just give a little bit of pressure as you pull it as you twist it and it'll pop off fairly easily now for the thorax I'm going to be using some seal dubbing here and this is the olive color and this olive is actually fairly dark and it's got a lot of contrast uh, if you're not available uh, if you're not able to get a hold of some seal you can use some diamond dub or some ice dub peacock arizona dubbing works great for this you just want a bit of a contrast from a, a lighter body to a darker thorax i like the seal dubbing just because it's nice and buggy and i don't have to uh, really comb it out too much to kind of get that appearance of legs in behind here so we'll just dub that on and wrap it around the thorax i'm going to add a whip finish here just to finish this off and we're going to add a second whip finish just for a little bit of extra durability in the fly and we'll just clean up those little ends there Now one last step, we just want to give this the olive appearance. So we're going to take a little bit of red nail polish. We're going to take a toothpick and I just clipped the tip of that just a little bit. So we got a little bigger surface area and we'll just give that a dot on each side of the head. So this could also double, I suppose, as an eye placement for this nymph. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool, the uh, red with the olive colored fire hole bead it's not not a bad combination and there you go that's the uh, the eyes on that nymph if you want after this dries you can take a dubbing brush and just give that color a bit of a stroke backwards that'll kind of tease out a few of those longer seal fibers or whatever you chose Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.